Greetings everyone, hello and welcome back to City Skylines once more. How good of you to join and stick around. Welcome back as a new day is dawning in in CP Holo and it is rush hour. Rush hour it is indeed. We got another major traffic jam right here. But that's of course because not of some amazing, well, mismanagement. It's really just because this intersection here is really just turning into one lane over here and it's... People just can't handle this, right? It's just totally breaking the traffic. And this is a vanilla intersection. I wonder if this ever has been tested, really, because obviously it has not. Um, of course, the solution is simple. We just need to make a two-way highway out of that and merging it with another two-lane highway over here, leading to a three-lane highway that goes into a roundabout. And this should fix the problem once more. We've already done it uh, at the other intersection. And with this one here, we can also restore the flow of traffic now just fine. And there it is, all back again to former glory and hopefully traffic jam goodbye. Now, with that out of the way, let's actually, yeah, have a look at the bigger picture there once more at Sleepy Hollow, a city in garbage. Now, there was a new patch and garbage is definitely broken to some extent. It definitely was broken before as well as my my landfills, right? And my, my recycling centers just were not really processing that much garbage. And the other cool thing though is that is countering that was the bug with unhappiness because even though every single, almost every single building in my city is now polluted with garbage, we barely have any impact on happiness, growth or money whatsoever. So in that case here, poor garbage service is only negative one, stagnating at this point since the beginning basically. Um, so theoretically we could probably ignore this, this mechanic altogether. Um, if it weren't for my latest fixes that we had yesterday. And in that case also, we weren't exporting any garbage, right? There's still no export for garbage at all. So any kind of garbage we produce, we just keep to ourselves <laughs> and swimming in it. However, one thing changed and that is my service management. The garbage management actually went down the budget to 70%. I wonder why, I don't know why. So what we can do is actually we can now put it back up to the 150%. This will double my expenses for garbage. However, now actually it is affecting my processing per month and it is now affecting it to 260 tons per month uh, up from the 130 tons we had before. So doubling it essentially. Um, this is still not totally enough to, to actually cope with the, the garbage that is being produced, but I think we actually have a real chance of finally fighting that traff, uh, that garbage piling. As we can see also, the processing is now up. It's still not really up to the maximum. I wonder why. There's no more modules we can actually add to this, and the budget is at the maximum now. Still, it's a nice change, right? It's something that we can finally work with, hopefully. The landfill here still is only at 0.5 tons per month processing speed. So it's really just there for storing garbage and the recycling plant will then take care and process the garbage then um, into, yeah, I don't know, recyclable plastics and stuff like that. Of course, having a garbage system like that is very expensive. So this is taking a hit on my budget now altogether. The service up keeps just well, exploded with this. Um, we could lower, of course, the services for other things like electricity, for example, we have too much, so I can definitely lower this, but it doesn't really have an impact that drastically on it. Um, what we can do is we can raise taxation a bit. It's still too low. So I would like to raise my taxation for offices a bit, for commercials and very important for, yeah, for residentials. Just 1% is giving me another 500,000 um, of credits here. So that's quite, quite fine. And this should actually bring us back again to the positive zone, hopefully. It's actually half my, my losses so far already. Hmm, main problem with the garage is still that, yeah, the storage is full. So there's barely any vehicles out there. Actually, there's four in maintenance. And out of the 30 that we can use here, none of them are on the streets right now collecting. Because the stored garbage is still so high. And that's for all of my garbages. So... Even as we have increased the budget, right, even as the processing capacity has doubled, we still don't see that effect right now because, well, basically the storages are full. Um, in that case, I would like to still though continue with building more houses and um, we can do this. And I would like to go ahead and yeah, enable us this sector here. We haven't really toggled this yet. And of course we should have a look at the other side. So this district here is growing right now, right? So as we can see, the, the plots are filling up, right? There's also some low density housing on the outside, outer, outer side here, and then some medium density housing there. What I don't like so much is the skyscrapers right here. So I've actually removed the 
these houses here again, right? And make some medium density housing there. So we have a bit of a transition and not go from skyscraper to single housing there right away as this looks just really crappy overall. So let's also do it for this area um, and remove those skyscrapers again. Yeah, I'm not that greedy. So taxes don't mean that much to me, right? And there should be some beautiful medium density housing then also popping up. What we still could add to this one before I actually talk about a new district is um, yeah, some parks. We don't have them yet here in this area. And I do have, of course, the central park that we're going to build at some point, but that's still a bit off. So having some, yeah, some sports grounds here, I would like to actually go for the community pool. I like the idea of that. So that we have something for swimming, um, probably over here then. Um, two times we could have this in this block here, right? And in the middle, oh, we're definitely not going to have then some zoning here, right? So this is basically just a smaller park area with, yeah, some trees and bushes in the, in between. We could also add probably some something smaller, something longer. Um, the campfire site is a bit too big. And it also really wouldn't fit into a, into a city district like this one here, right? So it really is just a park with some pools left and right to it. I wonder why the skyscrapers are growing so quickly, but medium density housing is basically dead at this point. For the garbage processing, I would still like to go ahead and add a few more recycling plants. I mean, unfortunately, their processing capacity is really crappy, um, and having incineration plants everywhere is also not something I would like to do. So let's go ahead and have on the other side, um, let's say two more of them. Uh, I could go ahead and actually, yep, carve it into this, uh, this hill that we have there, here, right? where we could then have a bunch more recycling plants. So we have the road system that goes then from this side to the other one. And this is where basically my garbage trucks are coming out. There's also a farm over there. So I think it's fine having this one next to it. Let's have some two more here together with also some more trucks. So there should actually be the trucks coming out of these right away and then also the hazardous waste collection plant that is just then increasing the processing capacity of these bad boys here so we can definitely add a few of them as well. The cool thing is it's also giving me experience points so why not. There we have now 15 tons of capacity out of it and here I would like to have another truck and then also some hazardous waste <laughs> collection there again. We have lots of industry after all. And we still want to get more garbage processing out there. So we are, yeah, we're getting closer to the orange, orange cycle there. But I think without more incineration plants, we'll not be able to do this. Unfortunately, really, this game forces you to go into incineration garbage. So it's a bit strange to me. But still, that's okay. So at least a bit more garbage processing. As we are, yep, it's the moment. Closing in on the 100,000. As this district here is also growing please give me some medium density housing there please somehow um i would like to yeah also remove those guys there and just add some more medium density housing then all right so these ones here we can just override as well so the idea is that we have the skyscrapers then the medium houses and then probably some row houses and then the single home families we'll see there it is 100,000 people finally our metropolis is growing with that yeah it's definitely growing in size and unfortunately, I will also have to add some more incineration, incineration plants. So over here in my industry zone, um, we can actually, yeah, add quite a few of them. And unfortunately, as I said, it's probably something that we really just need to do overall. And with those, we have now finally, yeah, what, 360 tons, 307 tons. It's growing there still. And we should now have enough garbage processing for the first time, I think, ever um, available to us. It's going to take them a while, right, to, to gather some of that and be happy. Um, we could then also go ahead and just on the other side of it. So this is really a mega complex of garbage incineration here. Um, we're definitely going to make some more on the other side than here, right, that we have. And here it's coming together again. The, the cool thing about those incineration plants at least is that any kind of module we add doesn't really cost space, right? So it's the, the furnace that we have and the truck that we have. Um, storage is really not that important anymore, right? So since we are processing all of that, let's hope we don't need that much storage there all the time. What I would also like to do then is having some, yeah, some transformer here. 
that we can add so that we can process all that electricity into the streets here and let's just make sure that we use two of them because i certainly don't want to have um yeah don't wanna so this is also a very interesting mechanic as you can see i cannot actually i cannot actually make it like that so here this is possible so that we do feed all of that burnt garbage into our electricity network even though we don't need that much electricity but at least we, we can make some profit out of that so this is still something that I would like to work on. Can we actually make it so that it doesn't snap with the road? Thank you very much. And I think here, this is actually hidden by the module. That's also interesting that you can do this. And we're probably going to then just move it over here to this transformer. And also once more, winter is creeping in, in all its glory. They nailed the atmosphere. This is looking fantastic, I think. Really bleak and rough overall. Definitely don't want to be outside right now. I especially love those winter mornings and as the sun is coming up. So is actually also the snow receding right now. It's getting a bit warmer again. And of course, the worst thing can also happen. <laughs> I think this car actually crashed into one of my gas stations. We do have quite a lot of gas stations there, by the way. Because perhaps the game recognized... No, this is way too many gas stations. No idea what's going on here. But someone crashed with one of them. And causing a huge traffic jam now piling up already on the highway. Pretty great to have a new day starting with that. Nope, unfortunately, the garbage bug continues to persist, and with that, we are losing processing speed by or every month, it seems, and it goes down, right? So I have no idea why this one here with... Oh, Thriving Metropolis, hooray, another milestone achieved. Um, I have no idea why it is like that, so even with the highest amount of service we can actually put now in here, the budget, right, we still lose processing speed the longer the plant exists and with that also overall loose processing capacity already again it's going down from 500 months um i would love to know what it is perhaps some of you have actually something to say about this in the comments i would love to get some tips on this because i can't i just can't manage my garbage it seems now finally let's have a look at this side here of the city i definitely want to grow a bit further um into into that area here there's also the new industry zone already popping up with more and more industrial buildings and right over here it is time to carve a road in right now we have a dual or a four lane road actually um i might consider going for the full big one here so the six lane that we have it is going to cause some hookers right now here that we have right but I definitely want to have the big one though as i'm expecting some traffic here as well there is already the big road coming from the industrial zone so once more we are we're going to need a bridge here and we probably can't do it like that really this is looking not very good so let's go ahead and create us a bit of a slope here that adds then this road to the other side probably something like this and then down again because we're going to also make a proper bridge out of out of this road then here as well of course we do have some nice bridges unlocked at this point here so we do have the eight lane divided cable state bridge and building these bridges is actually not that easy because you need to drag them over so this is working out and i would like to have one here right a pretty big bridge that is not looking exactly nice though as it is aligned right now to the highway so we are going to to turn it around there a bit so that we have a nice a nice curve here then that goes to the other side where we want to have that there's also the cable car uh, the power cables in this case here it's actually pretty simple also to just get them below the ground right so if i if i have it here and i don't like the look of them i can also just go ahead and go underground with them create an underground node right that no one sees except us and here we can make the connection then over to the other side of course we need a transformer then or and that's also pretty cool you can just connect it with an existing um, power cable like this one and it would snap to it as well and then it goes underground uh, below uh, above ground so you can do either way let's actually have this cable go below the highway and then probably snap here with one of my 
with my big lines that we have there as well so this should be fine and with that we don't need this cable there anymore let's get rid of it next up of course as always let's purchase this ground i think there is once again something i can't delete we'll just see um yep let's purchase these three tiles here and no idea what we're doing about that hill there i don't think we have cable cars uh, going up there that would be amazing if we have something like that um to have up there for now we are probably going to make a small bridge then or something like that yeah this roundabout intersection is not doing a great job anymore at keeping the traffic at bay um, there's a lot of traffic coming into this district now there's also of course a lot of people moving in all the time right now since there's still plenty of space right more buildings are popping up everywhere and there is also almost a thousand coming in at the moment and of course that leads to a lot of incoming traffic temporarily so we'll just see how this actually is then in a couple of minutes before i actually change this intersection there which yeah let's face it i probably will need to do mm, this area there uh, that's the that's the big road now that we kind of like would i would like to, to make a decent bridge then going over this area because there's the connection then with that district here yeah, let's actually have the bridge a bit further down here. I think I like this more. We can get rid of this road here altogether. And then tone it down again up to this point here. And then we probably will make this one also a big road or we have the connection with this one. Very good. This is looking cleaner. And this is now the main road that goes then to the other side. We probably will make to sh uh, shorten this one then also to have a direct connection with the, the highway there. And I'm also going to move the incineration plant there a bit for now for the moment because it's creating too much of a slope here. What is that? That's still one of my outdoor cables that we have. Yes, it is. Uh, we probably will need to get rid of this altogether there as well. There you go, making it simple. And this is then our main junction that we have that goes then onwards to the highway and just along really the power plant. All the way up here. That's interesting. Okay, with that out of the way and the road also leading then up here to the highway, we can now finally uh, use this bridge here for what it is supposed to be. So let's go ahead and make it a... This is a six-lane road already, so definitely needs to be a bit of a bigger bridge there. And perhaps we can actually make it central. There you go. And to make this a bit cleaner looking, I probably, probably will need to adjust the terrain a bit down here. So that we do have this one actually also in the water. There you go. Much better. I just hope the trees are drowning now we need to actually remove them ourselves. Now while building this road, the traffic jam is actually getting a bit worse over here. So yeah, I really need to do something about it. This roundabout intersection is crap for any kind of bigger traffic. So I need to, yeah, once again, delete the whole mess here that we already created. Also the power lines are a bit in the way there. Especially for the new intersection that I'm planning to build here then. Let's just get rid of that. And yeah, then all of this. Of course, having this intersection here doesn't really do that much yet. Because once again, it also comes with its problems. And since there is going to be quite a lot of traffic, we'll immediately need to change this one here for the better. And probably also on the other side here. All right, this is also a, an entrance actually that goes then right into the industrial zone. Going all the way up here, I think this here could be done a bit better. So we're going to make it um, ending then right with the roundabout. This is actually deleting my roundabout now. That's looking cleaner. We then go all the way over here, then into three lanes and then into the, the section here. Though we have a bit of a problem as I think the inbound could stick with um, three lanes all the way to the end. 
I think that's just better. And yep, also, as always, a bunch of people that just don't want to move out even though there's not even a road connection anymore. Eh, I don't know. We have lots of power. The nuclear power plant is uh, making sure of that. Problem though is that the power grid is not going over the highway as we already know. So I will need to have some new transformers most likely. There is already one here at the end of it. There is one here now that we still need to make the connection with the transform over there that should actually solve the problem here does it it does even though yeah high load we have over here for the moment not a big deal by just drawing the line over here to my other transformers that we already have we solve the electricity problem that is working there right now the power plant is producing 200 megawatt at this point here so yeah it's going up a bit that's great stuff because we do need the power for all these people and there we have then our highway and it's taking a bit of time for traffic to actually come back to the normal mode let's actually make this one here tooling completely as well comes from the highway and we may want to consider going for three lane highways at some point soon as well what's going on here this is the lane that goes into the highway which is causing some problem down here as people try to get to the other lane but I think this is just a backlog that's working here right now because we deleted the other intersection. So I'm going to wait it out for a second there. Even though this is not really looking clean, I might want to make this one a three-lane one. And yes, that's exactly the case. There's the last truck, a garbage truck then, and then this traffic jam here should also be a thing of the past. By the way, it's beautiful watching those vehicles in the night finding their lanes. Yeah, so many people moving in, of course, that brings my education system down to its knees once more, at least for the elementary school. For high school, we have no problem whatsoever. The college is also looking fine and the university as well. Elementary school, though, that's something. So down here, we have already the high school. We have the technical university. So yeah, let's have the, the next un uh, elementary school then also somewhere here along the main road that we have. And, or, well, it's a smaller road actually there, right? And we do have then room behind it for some proper um, playgrounds that I would like to have. At least one here and one here, just behind my elementary school. And in here, we probably will have nothing for the moment. Let's just keep a park there as well, active, because I don't know what else we are going to do there. There is some more space here for, yeah, let's actually make it low density housing for now so at least there is something that's growing then um and sometimes later we are actually going to move it then to yeah to medium density then this is actually looking better here with the, the trans transition here it's still not intact so here we still need to wait a bit before we can do anything we could also do we have some new signature buildings i think we do have the the old 10 condos an exquisitely decorated red brick building that celebrates its developers first decade in the business and radiates warm and welcoming vibes it also gives me seven well-being within two kilometers which is quite a lot so this is something that i would definitely like to have a bit within the city where we have lots of people living like here or also up here in this region and we might want to try it yeah, this is this will look a bit out of place Why? Right, because we don't have medium density housing left and right of this one beautiful building though i really do like the signature buildings so far so good and we continue onwards in the next episode stay tuned